Now let's start the today's video. Today's video is about variable typefaces and how to use them in Figma. So Figma has a very little update on how to use them. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you uh, how to use a variable fonts, uh, font in, a, uh, in Figma. Uh, normally variable fonts are really, really great for web design. You just load one typeface and you can use all of its styles, bold, slanted, everything. So let's dig into Figma and I'm going to share with you some of the variable Google fonts you can use uh, in Figma and your web design projects. So let's get started. Okay, so here you can see uh, I have a simple design and if you click on this one, uh, this is actually inter typeface and it says inter v its variable typeface and you can see over here these are its setting uh, also we have a paragraph and a, um, here we have book so what i did is you can see first you have to select a variable typeface from here like let's uh, search for asap uh, i recently installed uh, asap variable font maybe i have to restart this right now let's let's use enter again anyhow so here we have inter variable typeface uh, so there are two ways you can select its style first you can go into the styles and go at the bottom so you can see here is the style it says weight 317 slant minus 2 uh, you can go over here variable font axis and you can see these this is these are the settings so these are basic details and variable variable font here we have a slider where we can set the you can see now it is getting slim and slim and slim so this is the weight control and this one is the for the slant so if you want it to be slanted like this you can control its slant like this so plus one um, so here we have minus five, uh, maybe let's use minus three right now. Okay. So one is weight, second is slant. So you can control both the slant and the weight. So if you want it to be a regular typeface, I think 400 you are going to use. You can see it, it has been shifted to uh, regular. And if I shift it to uh, 500, it says medium um, and semi bold, bold, uh, here we have extra bold and you can see you can also set your own custom weight so you can see it says 843 which is not a set uh, weight similarly we have 700 <clears throat> sorry 750 650 whatever you want uh, for the regular typeface you can see uh, for the paragraph i have set the same typeface variable typeface and we have set it to 400 and slant is zero for book now um, okay so one way is going from here the second way is you can click this three dots type setting and you can also we have another tab which is called variable and you can access uh, the type settings from here so this is how you are going to use uh, your variable typeface in figma now let me show you some of the variable fonts you can find on Google. So here is the link fonts.google.com slash variable fonts. So here we have all the different typefaces you can see over here. There are many, many typefaces you can use. Some of the ones I really enjoy, you can see over here, are Chivo uh, or Archivo. I'm not sure what it is. Really nice typeface. Uh, Arima. Um, a bit stylish maybe for some food company or something like that uh, then we have asap also one of my favorite typefaces it also has uh, this this also has um, uh, the, these are all variable typefaces then we have assistant let's select america over here and english this one Humanist Sans Serif, really nice. Catamaran, um, I also like this. Let's switch to English. This one, really nice. 
styles and fig tree i have recently did a video where i showed fig tree uh, fig tree is a really really nice very very legible typeface i really love it uh, then we have inter which we are using in this tutorial and let's see if we have carla carla they also have these are all popular typefaces uh, for google from google you can see this is also very good for ui design m plus one is also uh, great and it supports a lot of languages uh, very clear a bit uh, humanist kind of a bit squarish typeface uh, or maybe somewhat um, geometric again we have uh, m plus two this one is also very good man rope this is also one of my favorite typefaces from google mm, let's switch to english this one this is really clean clean really really lovely design uh, then we have Mons Montserrat and again it has these are all variable typefaces oops I have to switch to Americas and English and then we have Morencho Morencho I recently showed you Morencho in another video of mine uh, for the new typefaces so these are all variable typefaces you can just install them uh, into your system uh, fonts and you can start using them in figma so i hope you have enjoyed this video and you will use some of the variable typefaces in your next design project if you have any comments or if you regularly use any variable typeface uh, do post a comment in the comment section below in the video um, make sure you like subscribe and share this video a lot of people I know they are watching my channel and they are not subscribers make sure you subscribe so I keep on making such videos uh, till then I will meet you in another video take care and bye bye